Man, that's so cool just to see your own stuff inside of here, man. Going through the whoops and knowing that it's IBS Kelso's Tough Blocks. <gasps> like, that's just sick, man. What up, in this is Josh, your boy IBS Kelso coming back with another MX Bikes banging up. Before you guys adjust your phone brightness to change your minor settings, yes, I am black, and we're playing a dirt bike game. And before we get completely into the track, I just got a shout out to my dudes and literally how far we've come. Shout out to my boy Stratos, man. Shout out to myself, I guess. You know, shout out to Steezy for just putting me, Stratos, my boy Powdered, and Skizzy, all of our stuff inside of um, his tracks, man. And... You know, this is huge, man, especially for Steezy to just go ahead and, you know, promote us small content creators for this game. Um, it's cool to see all of us kind of grow from under a thousand subs to now and all of us to just still be good friends and continue moving on. And I kind of want this to be put out there, man. If you guys are a small content creator and looking for yourself to grow and or do that, man, get really good and uh, join my Discord, bro. And, you know, come around. And I promise, man, we do not bite. We bark, but we do not bite. And that being said, man, we want to grow as a community. We want to grow a lot of small content creators together and form together. I feel like we, we are better in numbers than we are decimated. So, yeah, with that being said, if you guys are a small content creator and you guys are watching this, definitely come through. Huge shout out to Steezy, man. Thank you for literally just believing in all of us and continuously putting these in here. But let's go ahead and ride the track, man. This is round three, San Diego. And, yeah, I got to say that, man. It's so sick. The tent, bro. I saw this on San Francisco, bro. So I appreciate it with all the tough blocks. But yeah, I've rode a couple laps on here as well. Um, I think as like last time, or I don't think I did it last time, but I'm gonna ride a little bit with the Husqvarna 250 and then I'm gonna actually switch to the 450 and ride some of those laps just to see what kind of different lines I could possibly take. But as always, man, uh, you know, for MX Bikes being this and Steezy, uh, he gets better and better every time he creates these tracks. And you know, just like San Francisco came out, it was nowhere near to what he kind of like replicated, but at least we had track knowledge. And that's what I'll always say to the to the ends of the earth, like every time I, you know, promote these is that it's something to get, you know, your feet wet to understand, okay, this what the track might look like. And you got to at least knowing what the track layout is. I promise you, man, for everybody that's seen it, man, I've literally practiced these right before, you know, race day. So if you guys are ever wondering like, man, what am I doing to practice? I literally actually get on all these tracks right before the day, the day before and or a little bit before and I actually just practice the layout. That when the actual track comes out, it's nothing new new to me and it's like, okay, bet. I know exactly what lines I kind of want to take or what I'm already looking at. So yeah, just take that with a grain of salt and that's, oh man, I actually was supposed to go for the triple here. Bet, see, and you know, I'm still learning myself, but you know, as, as time goes on, it's only Tuesday, Tuesday night for me. You guys will see this Wednesday. It'll only be Wednesday, and I get a little bit more practice for Wednesday and Thursday coming up, so when Friday happens. So, yeah, just, uh, you know, take that with a grain of salt. Uh, this is a free track on MXB Mod, so hopefully you guys do pick it up. But I, I, I gotta say, for how the track layout is already is, it's not long. It's not long. I mean, if I, we're already running, uh, I'm already running, like, a 101, like, on a 250. So if you take this with a grain of salt and understand maybe the track might be might even be shorter because you know Steezy's uh scaling to what um Stone Riders is is completely different. So we might be seeing a 45 second kind of lap, like in the 40s, sub 40s kind of laps uh being put down here. Maybe high 50s, you know. So you guys gotta really take that into account and be like, alright, bet. So re really look forward to if he doesn't have a lot of roughness on this track. There is some lap times to be set. So hopefully Stone Rider brings back that uh, amazing uh, kind of, you know, rough, roughness kind of ruts. Because I think it was a personal dub. I know a lot of people had a controversy on whether they liked it or not. I personally enjoyed it, man. I mean, I have practiced for it. You know, you do MXGP tracks and, and uh, you know, any of TFC tracks. You really kind of like get into the groove of knowing that you have to, you know, <laughs> work on your tough roughness in order for you to even get around the track so something really to look forward to and something to have fun with so i hope you guys do take that with a grain of salt and hit it with i don't know why i keep saying grain of salt but i enjoy i enjoy saying it but yeah i'm on the Husqvarna 250 um this will be my kit actually for throwback san diego so if you guys don't know the theme is uh kind of retro slash throwback and um i thought since um i'll show it off here well you can kind of see it right there but i'll show it off again um, I thought since, you know, a throwback for me, since a lot of you guys don't know, but I am in the U.S. Air Force, thought a throwback for me would be something cool for, you know, the early 2000s. It was just a rough time 
for for America and all and just you know being being in a, being a military member. So I thought I'd throw back and show ABUs. Um, ABUs are no longer a thing inside of the U.S. Air Force. We now write our OCPs. I'm probably like talking like completely like a different language to you guys. But yeah, we don't wear a, a, um, ABUs anymore. We wear OCPs. So I thought to bring back the you know ABU kind of color. And um, I thought it'd be really fun and really something cool to give back to, you know, my country and kind of throwback wise, especially. So, yeah, I don't know. That's something for me. And then also I put the green in there since it was kind of retro. That way it can still see like we're wearing kind of a vibrant color. So should be fun. But so far, Steezy literally continues to amaze us from, you know, uh, San Francisco, Anaheim 1. And I got to say for Anaheim 1, he I mean, San Francisco, disregard. San Francisco, he said he was feeling really under the weather. So he really couldn't give out a, you know, best of the best kind of map. I should say map, map texture and structure. So he said he was coming back with, you know, better. And he did, man, he delivered. So got a little, a, uh, you know, added ruts in here and all that. Um, so that's really cool, you know something for us to play with Let's do a double in or something like that and jump over this one. Oh, day yeah so i enjoy it man he, he gets better and better and he, he's, he still shows that he's looking to improve his own kind of classiness so man that's so cool just to see your own stuff inside of here man powdered yamaha steezy like that's so cool going through the whoops and knowing that it's ibs kelso's tough blocks <gasps> like that's just sick man in my head in my opinion man like, I don't care what nobody says. Like, I don't care if there's another track that comes out to where it's like, oh, we well, should ride this one. It's more better scaling. Like, dude, this man shows me the support day in, day out, bro. I'm not going to another track. Like, this is huge, especially for, for like I said, like, Stratos, me, Powdered. Um, Smokester should be up in this John, too. I just know he's, like, barely getting in the Supercross. Um, and uh, he, he, you know, he's kind of coming through. But shout out to Smokester and Powdered for hitting a 1,000 subs, dude. A 1,000 subs in this community. That's a huge milestone. And, yeah, keep pushing, man. If you know anybody under that, and if you guys are here and you guys are under that, man, just know that you got the full support of IBS Kelso, bro. Um, I, hope I, I hope you don't think I'm a bad person, <laughs> weird guy. But, you know, we're here, for, we're here for content purposes. So, But, yeah, with that being said, I'm, I'm super happy with my friend group of content creators that continuously strive and push to be better for this community, especially in the community aspect to where it's like you know we just want to see a lot of people come together instead of decimate so it's really huge i'm not saying anybody else ain't like that but i know for for a fact that you know my friend group is like that so that's uh that's amazing and we're just gonna keep cranking that out for you but yeah i mean so far san diego is like kind of a cookie cutter thing like it's super cross triple into like a super cross double and then you're rocking around with i don't know how he's really gonna change this up i don't know what will be different but it's kind of like a hip jump almost like it was uh, Anaheim, you know, Anaheim one, and then that's definitely going to be a triple or maybe a double to a little scrubber a little hip. I mean, little, little bump. So got to really got to play with the, how that's going to look. And then this right here with a, with another like roller section of a, of a triple, we might really have to see some things. Now this inside is really cool because this is almost like a little table or a little, you know, jump up. I really wonder how it's actually going to look for actual scaling. So and then this this split section is going to be absolutely crazy i do like taking the full outside you get a really good run and i don't know why i keep slowing down i don't really take the inside um i'll probably come back around and show you the inside though i'll do it for the one time just to see if it's viable if it's even worth it because it might be even a better line for you to actually speed down here instead of taking up that you might save more time actually cutting this it might be a better rut i don't even know you can make that from the inside but that right there just kind of shows me that it's not really maybe a, a 250 line, maybe a 450 line. So, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but the Husqvarna, I'm sticking with it again, once again this weekend. I know a lot of people has been on that KTM, and I've seen a lot of, you know, Yamahas. But, and the Husqvarna 250 just kind of helps me out. Shout out to Cloud Suspension for literally just getting me right every weekend. Um, shout out to HSM. Shout out to all my sponsors, SL Designs. Shout out to Reflect Photography. Just literally believe in me, man. I'll say it all the time. You guys are absolutely amazing. And, yeah, we're just going to keep cranking out all that all that love and support so i think right now let's just go ahead and go to a 450 thank you hsm for literally just creating all these great graphic kits and you know all this cool stuff but this line is actually really cool you're actually able to jump over that to a triple and then triple out um i don't know how the scaling is going to go for that either but i really don't see that inside being a viable line unless like i said scaling might be different triple in kind of pull down and then you can really run through these whoops um but the only thing is like i have a hard time like the way the scaling is on this map is i have a hard time running running through these whoops super hard super fast 
um, excuse me, <laughs> super fast and then uh, being able to slow down in time. It's just how small that corner is. So scaling, like I said, scaling will take a huge effect um, and, you know, just hope for the best to where you might see a little longer, might see a little extra, extra length for you to actually get out of there. They might not even be that fast of whoops for you to get through. They might be very more challenging. So, yeah, I mean, I've been practicing on my 450 skills as well. Don't think I haven't. I think the only reason I don't show my 450 skills a lot is because, um, yeah, I don't know. I do it off camera because I feel like I get too carried away with the power. Like, I love the power of the 450, and, like, I feel like I'm not even bad at it. I do have my times of, of, of needing to tweak. Okay, that's third gear for sure. I do have my times, like, now, like, tweaking of, like, knowing how much more power I can give this bike without sliding out. Um... But I don't want to be carried away to where it's like I don't want to get back on my four, on my 250 because that's usually how things happen. Like I've been on the 450 before to where it's like oh, I don't want to get on back on it. But I want to maximize all my time I can on my 250 because you oh, see see what I'm saying? Like you 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 send that and then you're literally gone. So be careful if you're on a 450. You guys are probably more weight more more you know challenged and better at it than I am. But you know you just got to be careful you know sending that John. But yeah, I, I've been practicing my 450. It's nowhere near to what my 250 uh, practice is, but I do hop on it time to time and kind of just give it, you know, my all to see, be like, all right, bet, could I run anywhere close to what I've been running on 250s? And so far I have, man. I've actually been surprised with my, uh, you know, progress on both. So especially since, you know, Supercross has been connecting with me more and more, it just gets easier for when I actually have more power of, for the on a bike. So yeah, it, it hasn't been too bad. Man, those freaking oh, dude, these 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 tough blocks are cool, bro. Yeah, boom, right over. Boom, do it again to a triple out. If I actually grease that, it's actually pretty smooth. I'll definitely have to do it here. I think the fastest I've gotten so far was a 59. So I don't know if I'll really show that in here. I really do enjoy talking and just talking with you guys, but gotta really find a way to slow down. That way you can still get this table on triple out it's almost like that section's kind of really shouldn't say nothing it's almost like that section's like kind of like you know straightforward no matter if you're on a 250 or 450 could be a different line and maybe that triple onto that table might be scaled to where it's like only a 450 can hit that or you really got to stretch it and you might have to double and double over the table which i might try that one too and then you might find a different line out so you, you might be something or you might add more you might be just very small and not replicated to where you're more you're more of a section there than what we're looking at but man this track's gonna be really fun i do see it's sub 50s like sub 40s so just kind of be on the lookout for that there we go boom i'm so happy with my progress of supercross it's so awesome dude and the triple ends pretty nice you can scrub that or whatever i just did Let's slow her down halfway through. And let's do like a double in. Yeah, cause I don't know, dude. I don't see any I don't see any other viable line other than hitting the table. I don't know. I can't get the I can't get the speed. I enjoy that table on. I think I'm gonna stick with it and get used to it. That way when I'm actually doing racecraft, I go for it. And then if the scaling's completely different, we'll go for the double in. We'll go for the double in. And you know, it's nothing it ain't nothing but a G thing, so. But I ran a one minute point three, so that's not bad either. I think I, I think if I wouldn't have hit that one line, we probably had a fifty nine easy. Let's go back to it. Easy breezy. Yeah, I don't know. I want to try the Husqvarna four fifty, but this is like the only setup. Um, <laughs> Clouds has sent me a Husqvarna four fifty setup, and I just have not. I've been lazy to download it. So, <laughs> just like like I said, I don't really do four fifty stuff, and I I, I kind of try not to just because. Oh, bounce through them, maybe. I try not to because I, I I get so carried away with this power, man. It's so fun, dude. Maybe double. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. The the best thing is actually to jump over that table and get to the next spot. So if you guys want to try that line better than I can, you guys are probably hit it and probably go faster. But I think I think the thing is outside table on, and then jump off and then you know triple out. That's probably the best best side I can do. And I'm only hitting the one, like I hit, the, I, I can hit the 59, maybe even a 58. Let's actually go for it. Let's actually go for it. Let's try up. Let's lock in. Tee up, tee up, tee up. Tap in, tap in. <laughs> oh, that's a nice little kicker. Got to be careful up these freaking steezy berms. Oh, it's the seatbelts. <laughs> the seatbelts was so cool. 
Dude, I was not making that. Seat bounce got me right over that, bro. That was so sick. I'll take a little bit of whoop speed just so I can actually get through it because of any more whoops. Aw, oh, man. I make it? A little C bounce. Nice. Gotta love the C bounces, bro. Gotta love the C bounces. What are you thinking? A 59 or a 58? What are we thinking? A 59 or 58? Because I, I feel like I'm like up a full second off this guy. He's a scrub. I got a scrub back there. I'm new me. 59.2. Okay, I definitely have a 58 in me. Let's stay lower. Let's stay lower. Too low, bro. All right, that's going to be the end of the video, man. Thank you guys so much. We did hit a 59. Um, appreciate you guys. Before that completely ends, I just want to go back over here one more time to my friend group and just say, man, it's been a pleasure of literally being able to get to know all of you guys through content and be able to call you guys my real content friends, dude. My content you know, people, we always come through and share ideas and what we can do. So shadows. Power, powdered skizzy smokester i know you're not on there but we'll definitely add you up here dude thank you guys so much and um i'll catch you next one it's your boy abby s kelso pop up 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 peace